In this lesson, we're going to do a quick overview of each of Layout's different shape tools, starting with rectangles. Go ahead and select the Basic Rectangle tool, or the R keyboard shortcut, then click down to start the rectangle. Note that holding Shift locks the aspect ratio to a square. Now draw another one, this time with set dimensions. Click down to start the rectangle, then enter 2 inches for the width and 0.5 for its height. Now select the rounded rectangle tool. Click down below our basic rectangle and notice the rounded corners now. We can control the radius of the corners by using the up and down arrow keys on the keyboard. Just a heads up that the rounded corners are not dynamic, meaning if you stretch or change the proportions of your rectangle, so too will the corners stretch. Next, let's look at the bulge rectangle. Same as rounded, you can use the arrow keys to toggle the size of the bulge up or down. Lastly is lozenge, which applies an arc on two sides to create a pill shape. There are no modifier keys except for holding shift, which remember constrains a rectangle to a square. So in this case, it creates a circle. Speaking of circles, with the circle tool, you just need to set the radius. You can do that by either clicking down or entering a fixed dimension, say 0.5 inches. The other option in the circle dropdown is ellipse. Like the rectangle tool, we can set both the length and height. Let's do 2 inches for the length and 1 inch for the height. And the last of our shape tools is the polygon. Select this and click down to start the polygon. Similar to our rounded corners rectangle, you can use the up and down arrow keys to set the number of sides. Toggle up and down till the right number is reached, then set the radius, and that's it. To conclude our shapes lesson, let's look at offsets, which work the same way they do as in SketchUp. Using the polygon that we just made, select the offset tool, or F keyboard shortcut. Then select the polygon and either place the offset manually or enter a fixed distance like an eighth of an inch. If you want multiple offsets, just type in X for times and the number you want before exiting the offset tool. Let's try times four and hit enter and there we have it.